In today's video, we're exploring Bangalore's most luxurious mall, having an amazing lunch with my friends while celebrating new perspectives of India. When you think of India, you probably think of cows in the streets, a lot of colors, yummy street food, and extremely adventurous train rides. But there's a whole other side to the country which is not yet highlighted enough. So if you're ready, let's go and see what that side's all about. Hi, my name is Ivana and I live in Bangalore. There is a whole modern side of India which I feel is not very much highlighted and today I'm going to show you an amazing modern luxury mall here in Bangalore which is one of my favorites and we're going to have an amazing lunch with two of my friends so stay tuned to see a different side of India in this vlog. The idea of UB City was brought to life by Vijay Malia, the chairman of United Breweries Group and was built in collaboration with the Prestige Group. It's on the Vital Malia Road which is named after Vijay Malia's father right in the heart of Bengaluru next to Cobham Park and the JW Marriott Hotel. When constructed, the total cost of this project stood at around 1500 crores or 200 million dollars including the super luxury apartments. These are known to be some of the most expensive apartments in India with a starting price of these units at launch at around 20 crore or 2.7 million US dollars. UB City houses India's first luxury mall the collection where brands like Louis Vuitton, Rolex, Burberry and Ferragamo are available amongst others. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend to go luxury shopping here because the tax on luxury goods in India is 28% which is extreme and especially especially at luxury brand price levels adds up like crazy. But I do love to hang out at UB City. While waiting for my friends, watching people pass by and chill in the backside outdoor area never gets boring. Before the pandemic, the restaurant slash bar court used to get packed on the weekends and hopefully we'll see that back again soon. For now, it's just a chill lunch with friends at a restaurant I have never been to before called Shiro. I don't know about you, but stepping into this restaurant, I'm absolutely overwhelmed by the extremely impressive decor. Everything is massive in every sense of the word, and I can't remember the last time I saw ceilings higher than these. The menu for the food also looks extremely promising, but before we dig in, let me introduce you to my friends. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? Let me start. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Miriam. And I'm Ivana's friend slash nail artist. Yes, the best. <laughs> precious. My name is Precious, and I'm Ivana's friend slash her African princess. Yes, you are. Yes. yes you are. You're my royal girl. Yes. <laughs> are you guys excited? <laughs> Super. 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 Mm -hmm. I can't wait to taste this, honestly. And this is amazing. Yes. Honestly. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Celebrating life, yo. Yeah. Don't take no chances, fill up all the blanks with lemon sprinkled ice. I have to confess, whenever I hear unlimited sushi and drinks, my expectations are usually quite low. No need for that at Shiro do, as the sushi was super fresh, had a lovely taste and the sangria did not disappoint either in terms of quality. This was one of the first meals with friends in a very long time since this whole pandemic ruined our whole social lives. After all of us getting vaccinated, it is slowly coming back and I'm honestly so grateful for every single moment I get to spend with wonderful people laughing out loud because of our crazy jokes. Please don't ask me twice. Rhythm got me bouncing. We just finished the dinner. I paid fifteen twenty-seven, uh, which is mad value for money. I think. What do you guys think? It is definitely value. it's value for money. And <laughs> girl, <laughs> did you have girl, fun? I had a good time. Fun. I had a good time with my girls and. I think yeah. every single dime is worth it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every single dime. What you Here, think? it's not dime though, it's rupee. But yeah, every rupee <laughs> is worth it. <laughs> and for the mama sushi that we had, I think this Shiro's Yubi City is the go to. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey, Definitely. winner, winner, chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. For sure. There yes. we go, there we go, straight up. <laughs> Honestly, when you order sushi, 
even if it's veg sushi it's gonna cost you at least 400 500 for like six to eight pieces so like just ordering unlimited sushi and unlimited sangrias white and red mad value for money we had how many sangrias did we have like five per person i'm not ashamed to say i'm tipsy are you guys tipsy are you guys tipsy hell yeah tipsy no five 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 yeah, we're tipsy. Yeah, we're tipsy. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, we're here on a Friday afternoon. It's a great start of the weekend. So if you didn't know about this deal yet, Miriam found it. It's uh, 10 10 worth it, definitely. Obviously, UB City is awesome for hanging out with friends. But what if you just want to explore it by yourself, as a couple, or even as a family? I'd say it's good for everyone because the ambiance is romantic for couples, but also a completely unexpected experience as a family or by yourself. The three level mall is full of beautiful European style balconies. There's also some high street shops and some regular coffee shops for you to sit down. I decided to spend another afternoon here by myself so let's see what all i did and if i got bored So last time when we were at the Bangalore airport and I was looking at some really expensive biscuits, I already explained that sometimes I will buy these things because I think it's an experience. It's a lesson that my mom taught me. I'm going to talk more about that at the end, but first I want to show you an exclusive chocolate that I bought here, which is uh, 315 rupees. Yes, you may think I'm crazy, but again, please hear me out and watch this video until the end to understand like, why do I do these things? Also, I sat down for a very, very, very fancy tea. I have an eclair here in front of me and it's not easy to find a good eclair in Bangalore. It's a French pastry, which um, is available in Cherry, a really really good one at Baker Street and then I also have a baby chino which I think it, it looks more of a like a more of a hot chocolate it's actually for kids if you're having coffee then the kids can have a baby chino all the teas were water-based and I like my masala chai with milk in it so I thought let me try the baby chino <laughs> mm. This is an extremely nice hot chocolate. Oh man, so rich. So creamy, definitely not watery. Now, let me try the eclair. It looks so good. I think it's a chocolate eclair. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely want to try this. The pastry is not dry. It's soft, it's flaky. As you can see, there is a lot of cream and the pastry is super thin. My, oh my. I'm feeling fancy, guys. Mm -hmm. I spent some time here just enjoying the amazing ambiance, delicious eclair, and rich hot chocolate. It really felt like a massive treat and total value for money. But then, I got curious and it was time to see more of UB City. The vibe is very laid back and quite accessible I have to say. I went during the week so it's definitely a lot less crowded but obviously it's also covid time so that's why there are a lot less people too. Nevertheless, it was easy for me to just get lost in my own thoughts and enjoy exploring the outdoors again. Finally, I did some window shopping with some unknown brands and discovered some new things. And if you make it out here too, please don't forget to hang out in the backside outdoor area. The weather right now in Bengaluru is lovely and windy with beautiful gloomy monsoon skies. So it's just an absolute joy to be outside. That was wonderful. And here's my mom's life philosophy in case you think I'm being super, super lavish or just living the luxury expat life. First of all, that's not true because I come from nothing. I am a refugee and my parents, my brother and me used to sleep in one bedroom for years. So 
in case you think that and you want to know my whole life story i've linked my draw my life video down in the description below everything i have uh, <laughs> now in my life i have worked for it myself however what i wanted to share with you and how i i think i came this far in my life is because of my mom's life philosophy no matter how little money we had whenever i used to say to my mom like oh that's expensive oh we shouldn't do that that's super super expensive she would always say like no you do not miss out on life because of the price of a certain thing and especially luxuries are something that my mom believed to be part of life so my parents uh, yeah they used to shop at the cheapest supermarkets but then also they would take my brother and me to Krasnopolsky, one of the most luxurious hotels in Amsterdam for a luxury breakfast. Even though we couldn't afford a room there, they would take us for the breakfast buffet or they would easily, easily spend like 50 euros for the four of us on a coffee in a luxury hotel just because the view was so nice. It was really my mom who taught me that because my dad comes from a farmer family and he actually taught me the other side of things like, you know, having a very simple life is already good enough. but. My mom also taught me never miss out on life experiences just because you think they are too expensive. There is a thing in life called value for money and sitting at a really nice place, like for instance here, having a really good eclair next to the Louis Vuitton shop is a really nice experience. Or, you know, saving up money for a really nice uh, sushi lunch with unlimited sangria with my friends, I think is also a really, really nice experience. For the people who, you know, maybe watch this video for the first time, I truly believe that uh, you should try out all layers of life. Don't restrict yourself because you think like, oh, I don't make enough money for this, or I don't make enough money for that you can always like save up money for a really nice experience because experiences is what life is all about also one of the reasons why i keep making these luxury vlogs in india is because by now i think we have seen enough vlogs with foreigners in alibaba pants negotiating the cheapest price in a guest house i mean there's nothing wrong with that i have done that myself not negotiating the cheapest price because i love staying in guest houses and paying the owners a fair price yeah there's nothing wrong with that but i do believe it just creates a one-dimensional perspective of India. Yes, India is a very adventurous country. Yes, you can get a lot of things here for a very limited budget. But at the same time, I feel the luxury lifestyle is also very, very unique in the world. And I want to showcase that to foreigners, but also to Indians who may not have seen their country from that side. So I really hope this helps. If you would like to help me in that mission, please make sure to share this video with as many people as possible and spread this other perspective of India. Also, I would love to know if I'm missing out on a luxury experience myself. Let me know down in the comments below or what was the best luxury luxury experience you've had in your life. I'm very curious to hear that. Make sure to put a thumbs up on this video. If you're not yet subscribed, you can consider subscribing and joining 235 other, 235,000 other subscribers. It's free and then we can stay in touch because you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.